all morning. Good morning, everybody. The McKenzie Center for Innovation and Technology, and I'm with Dale Sharp, the Assistant Director. Good morning. Good morning. How this are you? This ends a two-day little series that I've done about this incredible center, which has been renovated much of it. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, and we've been to several of the venues, and where are we now, sir? We're in the Health Science II um, yeah. program. Yeah. And students are here uh, focused on personal hygiene, um, patient care. Patient care. And they from here, they can go where? Um, they earn their CNA certification, and then they can go and continue their, their, their um, schooling um, and pursue a C RN or, or some type of nursing or certification. Talking about RN, you have an instructor here as an RN? We do. I'm going to go talk to her. Carolyn Gowan, good morning. Good morning. Again, as I said before, this is awesome. Uh, so tell me a little bit about what your mission here is with these young ladies. What's the final goal? Um, we're trying to give students hands-on experience working with patients, making sure that this is a field that they're going to enjoy if they're going to invest in some additional training after high school, or certainly they can get a job with their CNA um, certification when they graduate from high school. You know, I, I've spent a fair amount of time in some of these um, retirement homes, and it does take a special kind of person. Do you ever find a student that says, you know, maybe this is not for me? Does it, I mean, is there a weeding out process? Ro probably one per year will really? come to me and say, say uh, maybe social work or maybe teaching, but right. for the most part, it um, really lights a fire in mm -hmm. the students. They're so excited. They get very attached to the residents that they care for, and they are always kind of bummed when clinical ends. They, they really appreciate those relationships. So there is, as with an LPN, there is a classroom aspect of this and not just the on-the-job training, so to speak. Correct. First yeah. semester, we cover um, we cover 30 lessons, mm -hmm. learning all about the aging process and different kinds of skills that and, and for the care that we'll provide. And then second semester, we take that out to our community and um, practice with people. Now, I have to tell you, in the last one of the other segments we did with the body shop, there was only one young lady there, and I interviewed her. And you have one young man here. In my other class, I have four. You have four, but where's yeah. the young, one young man here? Come on. Oh, he's having, wait a second. This is great. We should have had a t taken his blood pressure before being on TV and after being on TV. So what do you think? Do you think it's going to go up? When you, we should have measured you. Are you all right? Yeah. All right. Tell us what you want to do. I want to be a vet one day. Oh, is that right? So you might go, you'll go here to college and then maybe veterinary school. Yeah. Very good. All right. I am going to go over and talk to somebody who's actually doing a little practicum here. Good morning, ladies. And what are you guys, I, well, I know what you're doing. I'm not that stupid. But tell me, I mean, everybody says anybody can brush teeth, but what's the, what's, what are you learning about this that's important? Um, you really have to, like, get in the back and, like, know where to go with the toothbrush. You okay. can't just shove it in there. Okay, just like with anybody. Mm. And you have to say now, got milk. <laughs> 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 Ladies, good job. Once again, here at the McKenzie Center for Innovation and Technology, we've spent two days here. It's just an awesome program. So uh, back to the studio, and again, thanks to everybody who's made this possible.